Hi everyone, welcome uh, to the 2023 Tech 200 Live. Uh, I'm Paul Hagee, Editor-in-Chief at T360. I'm here with Travis Saxon, Executive Vice President and lead, lead of our Technology Consulting Division at T360. And we're here to, to have a little conversation about the Tech 200 that just came out on Tuesday of yesterday. And we're really excited about it. We made some changes this year. Travis, you and I have been working on this, the logic of it and the structure and some of the data and, and getting the companies right since about November of last year. I think it came together really well. Um, sure so thank did. you for all your work. Yeah. Sure did, Paul. Um, and and I, I remember when you came to me in November and you were like, you know, obviously I think for the better, pushing hard to make a, make some changes and, and um and really cut it down to you know the top five products in each respective category and have it be a little more bite-sized digestible and and uh i think we accomplished that it, it came out very well and i was very nervous you know this right at the beginning super nervous like oh my gosh i gotta commit to five and i think it's, it's better, for the, better for the industry it's intense like you said and um uh we you know the whole the whole report's going to be better um utilized by the by the enterprises in, in our in our industry yeah i think so and and because like last year for you know not everybody's comparing this year over year but last year we had categories and we're talking about we break everything up into categories by the tech landscape which we'll get to later in the call just to describe because to really understand exactly how this put together it, this is why we want to have this conversation because there's you know there's there's some nuance here and also the exact methodology we use which which really helps in understanding and using the tech 200 because it's really built to be used and to your point we had a, a max of five products per category so these are leading best in class products that we had to make decision based on your in-depth experience in the tech team's in-depth experience in the industry scoping thousands of products and and then saying okay what is actually the most used and most respected and we'll get into the methodology and we'll like present a little slide there but it's it's a it's meant to be like brokerages and teams and agents and 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 people really trying to run a, a real estate business like what is what is the vetted really good technology by the actual function they use so thanks it was a it was a big lift <laughs> um so anybody following right now, if you want to go to realestatealmanac.com, this is where the the data lives and is presented, and and you can access access it there. And so, an overview, uh, Travis, you want to oh, I, you want to give an overview here, and that should be 199 projects. Uh, that's yeah, a, I just that's a typo that there. <laughs> yeah, I did too. Yeah. Uh, uh, nobody was perfect. Right. And, yeah. and we actually, uh, we're, we're very fluid because we have made a few updates since we launched as well, yes. but mostly yes. minor, which is good. Um, that, that kind of happens with almost all of our rankings when you have thousands of data points going in. Um, but yeah, we, we, we took this down from last year. We called it the tech 500 where we, where we had, um, just shy of 500 products and yes. to now 199 products, um, from 78 different companies in what we call 42 groupings and we and we really uh, i want to spend a little time on those groupings because we started to think about the tech landscape the way that brokers think about it more from the top of the funnel and really we separated the top of the funnel into five key areas like content marketing digital marketing lead generation and so on and so forth and that allows the broker to really cut through a lot of the noise if i just want digital marketing they might not know what predictive marketing is or social marketing or video marketing or or the different nuances there and so that's why we bucketed these uh, a little more the way brokers think lead generation another great example of that um, if i want to generate leads from open houses or sign writers or predictive marketing or websites or whatnot and then flowing right across into property advertising you got a lot of different things that you can do to advertise a property and so we we tried to group all these things in a much more legible fashion um, um, for the industry and and it did come out very clean uh, very concise and uh and then of course getting to five products in each category was again the hardest lift that i've done in a long time um and it probably took us two months just scrutinizing that um so I, i'm very happy with how the new tech landscape came out and we will be using this 
in our consulting practices. It's not just a publication that gets launched one time a year. This is the exact process that we follow when we work with large brokerages, enterprises, and franchises in this in the real estate space, and we're consulting as well. Yeah, and uh, and uh, this is the website. This is the homepage, and I just want to point out this is really useful. This this overview page is actually a really great place for people to come in and digest what the the whole tech 200 because these are all linkable and these are anchor links to the actual category so if you go to the data there and here's uh once again it's up to five so there's four we identified in leading uh, products in this category um and then these these are all as i've said you can use the overview page and go to all the categories that that are broken out the 42 groupings and see what the what the leading products are there. And we we also this year, a, a new feature is the watch list. Travis, why don't you explain what, what the watch list, uh, the feature that we yeah, have? So, the uh, sometimes the watch list, this is a classic example, like clothes is a top five product in the CRM category, um, but they've recently added some very cool and creative AI intelligence lead routing features. And so um, while it's not like mainstream yet, we wanted to make sure we acknowledge the, uh, those that were doing innovative things um, and, and we're getting really close to maybe breaking into the top five um, with some of the strong incumbents that are in that category. So we did create the watch list um, and we, we were able to put a few companies in respective categories onto that watch list where we thought this is somebody you need to pay attention to. Not in every, so the watch list is not in every category. It's only when warranted. And this is why you go open house lead capture. There's only two two products listed there. And we we were trying to be really rigorous and what do we really feel are the leading products? So we're not forcing five. We're forcing what we actually think we can put in there. And Travis, in some cases, there's more than five, and the, and you had and your team had to come and say, okay, how do we whittle this to five? In some cases, it was like, how do we should we expand this to to max out the five, or should we keep this at um, at the at the limit of what, like for example, the OPS lead capture? And I think there's another important uh, element to talk about here in in choosing and how we chose the products because in each category, let me go back to my. Uh, my slides here, because in each category, um, we one is real estate industry specific products. Because there's a, as you and I discussed, and we we were thinking about, there's a lot of products out there that are general and that a lot of people use that we didn't feel we need to call out. That's like Slack. There's there's a bunch of these that are a lot of businesses are using. We're not we're just focusing on real estate industry specific products and companies here. So that was one. And then I think two, we had like we, we had through our consulting research a good 40 technologies that we see over and over again that um are in the broker's tech stack. Um and 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 you know for this for the purpose of this conversation, the average brokerage uses 12.4 tools. We did this study in 2019, and since COVID hit, we're tracking right now, and every brokerage audit, I swear, is going up towards towards 15 so we're going to refresh that number this year and i think I, my gut tells me it's closer to 15 now um but that that's a that's that's something that i i like to kind of point out because there are so many of these um non-industry specific products asana and trello and monday.com and so on and so forth we did not we did not group those or um, or vet those um, since they're 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 huge conglomerates. They, they weren't part of the Tech 200. Actually, I think that uh, Travis, we're, this is going to be an inside article. We have a monthly kind of magazine style content release that we we put out. I think we're going. It'd be great to put that in that article that will accompany this video or this video will fit into. The other important feature is that some of these categories, some some broader products, offer some of those features of the categories, but we only included the products in specific categories if it was sold like a standalone feature or if it was so strong that somebody would consider buying it just for that feature. That, and, and so that's, that's it. Yes, it is. Feature. It's a big it's distinction. Yeah. Even, yeah. even even up until like the night before you and I were chatting and we were yeah. looking at products. I think the open house category was one of those categories. And yes. um, 
Uh, you know, KV Core has open house features. Delta yes. Media Group has open house features. But as far as we know, nobody is calling them and buying that only that feature as a product. You're buying the whole suite of services. So we, that's that's what and this this is important. This is why I wanted to have this conversation. This is why understanding the nuance behind this really helps will help digest uh, users digest the Tech 200 because that. Like you mentioned, like those are expensive products and they are valuable, but like we want, if somebody's really looking for open house leak, this is, if they're looking for that solution, they don't have it now, what can they go and buy off the shelf and get it? And it's not, they don't have to buy a bigger, bigger platform just to get that feature. So that's, that's a, that's an important element. So I want to jump in next to, you know, I think a lot of people are going to understand, like this is the, choosing the five, each category is a big effort and it's also a statement and there's, companies that aren't or products that aren't in that, that and and I'm sure brokerages and teams and agents or anybody who's watching this is going to be like, how did you choose these products? So we have a little bit of a methodology, but I'd love you to talk through some of the process and like how we really distill to the best in class in each of these categories. Yeah. So we do have eight criteria that we look at. Obviously, some of these are weighted far more than others, but we do look at all eight of these criteria as we're watching the industry year over year. We're, we're obviously doing um, hundreds of brokerage audits. And so we have satisfaction data um, and in some cases, adoption data. Um, we work with a lot of these companies too, so we understand their market share and their year over year growth. Um, but really, there's, a, there's two major things. Are they innovating and kind of keeping up with the industry? And are do they have the ability to service and support what we call enterprise clients. Now, that may be teams that are growing fast and heavy. That may be brokerages. That may be MLSs and uh, and associations. But ultimately, um, they have to be able to service and support these larger clients. So someone might say, well, why is this product not on there? And there may be a lot of reasons. When we look down the criteria, it might be like, well, that's an agent direct sold product. That's not what this list is. This list is for the enterprise um, well, side. Well, let me... Actually, we should clarify that because Travis, we that was more explicitly last year. This year is for any brokerage or team running a business. It's not just for the enterprise scale. And I think that's an important oh, yeah. distinction. And, and I wanna and, I wanna call that out because that was the filter by which we we apply consistently as a methodology. It's it's this is not like a one-off, this is somebody running a team. It like multiple people, maybe not licensed agents, but like have to have multiple people coming in and managing uh, maybe support staff. And this is like running right. their, their their business, their, their, their real estate operation like a business, whether it be a single agent or a team of agents or a big brokerage. I think I want to make sure that that part is understood because that is an important understanding here. Yeah. With yeah. And, 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 I, and I think I actually got this, uh, I got this uh, reach out recently. I won't say names here, but a company that was probably just on the outside looking in on our platforms category. And I basically Which we'll said, talk about in a few. Yeah. 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 We're going to go into that. And I, I basically said, look, um, you know, they were upset. And I said, we had to pick the top five. Um, we looked at all of these eight areas and um, your product is missing. And I listed about five or six different things that these other products had, and they were geared more towards the larger, the teams, the brokerages, and um, and they were just common features that um, they didn't have because their product was not intended or built for that purpose. Now they want to, and they're aspirational, they want to get into that category and they've got very good footing to be able to do that, but they, they need some work. And so yeah. um, they are, they were actually recognized in a couple of different categories in here, but um, that's a classic example of, I, I wish Paul, I had a dollar for every time I had a company call me up and be like, my product is better than that product. Yep. And it's like, I've heard you know, it since we released, we released yeah, the list. Yeah. I've heard it from people. And I'm like, look, like this so is so many times. So many yeah. times they, they drink their own, um, you know, uh, they they they're, they live they live it, they eat it, they breathe it. They they're selling it, and they're so close to it that they can't see the forest through the trees. 
And, and we see it all. We see everything about all the technology platforms. Even if we haven't done a recent demo, we've done it because we've done an yeah. audit where our client is using that product. And so it's like my the, and, these children books, my, 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 my daughters read, that, you know, when you go into the Emerald City and they put on Emerald glasses and everything looks green. It's like, that's, but, that's what we're I trying think to it's, I think it's important to also note that, look, nobody's infallible. And we do our best and we bet a lot and, and we listen and we have open ears. Our process is pretty refined, but it can always be better. And it's something that this is like kind of a year, we're turning into a year round process and we're evaluating and we're, you and I are gonna be working together and like making sure that like, okay, who's watch, who's coming in or should we move somebody into this to next year? And like, this turns into a living document. And I think that's important to note too. And we have a, a, a an email address on the website. It's like, hey, if you actually feel that something's missing or you feel like you can improve, let's reach out at research at t360.com. And that comes to, to my team and I, I coordinate with Travis and make sure they're vetted. And we can, this year, this list is basically locked, but we will we will add that for review for in following years. If you have a, um, a critique, we wanna make this the most usable, accurate report or ranking possible or, or list. And, I, and I, I think honestly the most common critique will come from categories like we've we call it out the open house category a lot but in the open house category there are more than two products you can use to run an open house some of them will be non-industry specific they might be a yes. form or a sign in sheet yeah. Others might be an app on the app store, and I know a bunch of them. I, we've seen them all. So uh, someone could call me up and be like, why are we not in there? The fact of the matter is that's an app that is sold directly to an individual agent through the app store. They're not generally doing enterprise deals with like, you know, large teams and, and 50, you know, uh, hundreds of agents and stuff like that. So, um, so that, that's, that's kind of the major, major difference. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big one. So let's jump into, we talked about one of the new groupings this year, the categories was, um, was platforms. And let me pull that up. I want to just talk through, because it's kind of an emerging, um, emerging category. And for a long time, companies have been hunting, tech companies have been hunting and increasingly brokers need, there's a lot of different needs and they're bringing these together into one platform where they offer a lot of different things, like a full suite of services. And so maybe talk a little bit about that development in the industry and like these becoming robust and like sophisticated and quality enough to where they actually can serve as basically a brokerage and a team and a hub, their technology hub to a certain degree. Yeah, and, and really it, it comes down to, um, you know, we've we've generally in the industry talked about front office and back office for so long in real estate. And um, many, many brokers that don't have the appetite to go out and manage 12.4 tools and, and increasing are, are signing up with these platforms that are offering multiple categories. And, and I think uh, based on my latest research, we saw numerous platforms that had anywhere from on an average 40 or 50 different categories they covered. And so when you look at each one of these and you looked at every feature that they had, they would be in a ton of these categories. But again, they don't sell them that way. So they don't, you're not going to buy Delta Media Group's, you know, um, uh, just this feature within their product. You're buying the platform in general. And so uh, these five players really excelled. Um, and I think there's probably a big, there's a big surprise on this list. There's four well-known household names in real estate, um, Delta Media Group, MoxieWorks, KV Core, and then Elm Street Technology, who has acquired, I think, amassed about 18 different technology platforms um, over the last two years. Those four are strong names in the industry, huge companies. And then you've got ReChat, who through our T360 consulting services, we've seen them working inside of brokerages and they have a phenomenal platform. And so lots of um, lots of unique nuances in here. When you look at some of the platforms and their strengths and weaknesses, they are geared towards uh, sometimes even slightly different users um, with different feature sets as well. And that's, that comes out when we're doing our, our really prescriptive matchmaking. And so even 
within the platform category. While we say these are the top five, we're not saying these are the top five for everyone. We're saying, look, you still need to scrutinize what do they do best and how does that fit with your DNA? And that's something that most brokerages and don't spend a lot of time doing. To, to that point, you know, we'll, we'll call out the, the Swanfall Trends Report that you and I and Michael Phelan, your colleague, worked on. Uh, the, the T3 brokerage profile, the tech profile, which you, you kind of have to tune your technology to exactly your style. And there's, it gets pretty nuanced, which is, you know, it's, we've distilled it to a place where it's not that complicated, but it's, 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 it's still a lot of things to consider to smartly kind of bring technology into your, into your firm or your business in a way that really makes, improves it, you know, improves the bottom line, which is, is, is what this is all about. And I think I want to, you mentioned retry, you mentioned some of these others, look, we didn't, there's a there's an editorial independence between the consulting division and the publications research division, which we put out. And I want to emphasize some of these some of these firms and products are clients of T360 and deals with Travis. But there is a wall there where we where we have a rigorous methodology and apply it and, and our team vets and like there's a line there. So I just want to I just want to say that because it's important for everybody and our credibility is hugely important. T3, if anybody knows the brand, we are focused on accuracy and 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 that line is not pay to play at all. If this is yeah, yeah. completely separate and me as an editor and a journalist and and the researcher and everything, that, that line we just do not we just do not mess with. Yeah, and, and half of this entire list that we've created, the Tech 200, is not clients or are not clients of T360. And so we did we did put a really good unbiased look at this. And there's the whole, like, it's not just the technology team, which my team's amazing. I got CTOs that ran 4,500 agent firms to some of the best 500 agent firms in the industry, and even the senior executives that ran companies, um, uh, even on this list. And, and we all put our mo collective minds together, but we also get to then have the sounding board of the editorial side of T360, which Paul leads here. And so we go head to head sometimes and, yes. uh, and, and, <laughs> and it comes out, it comes out for the better. Yeah. And there's tough, as you know, you, you, it's a tough job because these are, you know, the, your clients and like, sometimes you have to give the tough news <laughs> and it's hard, you know, and, and, and I had, and we, we talk about that, <laughs> oh, you know, um, but, okay. but Paul, I would, I would like to point out that if your name is on this list, if 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 you're if you're like oh I should be in this category or I'm better than than that, you know, kind of let down your guard a little bit. You are recognized as a top five player in your respective category, one of the top the players deal. in the in the it's real estate deal. industry. This yeah. is a big deal. Brokers look at yeah. this. I remember Paul, the first year we launched this, we got that testimonial about the broker who stopped a transaction management vendor on a presentation and said, hold on. And he pulled out his real estate almanac and he went to the page and he said, all right, you can proceed uh, mm -hmm. with your demo because you're in <laughs> here. And so yeah. it, it does add a lot of validation. Um, and, and so celebrate the fact that you are a tech 200. Which is, which is part of the, the reason we're doing this. We want something to present something to the industry. There's a lot of stuff out there. It's hard to navigate. We are, we are, hopefully you can use this as, hey, this is, we vetted it. This is solid quality products that you should include when you're thinking about finding solutions to these different needs that, that, that these businesses have. So there's, I want to point out CRMs. I don't think we should uh, talk individually much about this because we're close to wrapping, but you can just go through in each of these and, and kind of evaluate and see. And, and of course, this is this is a good resource to start, like just, Check through them, see how you feel, see if they match your needs and brokerage. This is a good, just view as a, a resource for um, for everyone and, and users in the industry. Um, that's, I think we should wrap soon. I want to I want to end by sharing our contact info and say thank you, Travis. Thank you. It was great collaborating with you on this. I, I'm I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I'm glad we have something that's that's refined and, and we narrowed it down and we're, we, I think it's going to be really useful for the industry. So thank you. It was great collaborating with you, put this yeah. out. And uh, our emails are there, Paul at T360, Travis at T360. Once again, we want to make this the accurate, most useful 
tool possible. So if you have any feedback, reach out to either of us and access the, the list on real 